In this series, we try and build a 500 pound collection from scratch, but with a huge twist. We could lose everything at any moment. If our pools are blessed, we move on towards our goal, but if our luck fades, it's sudden death. Everything gets put on the line in a shadow duel versus a random viewer. Will the heart of the cards be on our side, or are we doomed to the shadow realm forever? You're watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Profit or Forfeit. Yes! <laughs> Aye. Subscribe. Welcome back to the children's casino. I'm feeling a bit ill just now, but the casino stays open, baby. Konami are slamming out products rapid fire right now, but somehow we're able to keep up with the luck streak on these products and smash profits left, right, and center. Last time we got a huge £70 buff to our collection from Darkwing Blast, putting our current bounty at £268. 89. Lots of good cards, lots of shiny cards, and it could, of course, all be yours. If you like, drop a comment and beat me in an epic Shadow Duel of the Ages for everything. If we do end up losing everything today, let's just put it down to a skill issue, and I know someone who could help with that. Yep, this episode is sponsored by Skillshare. 2023 is approaching, and of course that means another year of cardboard, another year of being broke because of that cardboard, and another chance to actually stick to your New Year's resolutions. Time to get yourself together and improve your life. And you know, I'm not just speaking about tidying your room and actually showering every day so that you don't get kicked out of locals. Ooh, stinky boy! I'm meaning actually learning a new skill that you can put to use or finding a new hobby. You know, learn a new language for going abroad, learn how to edit and start creating content to start your own YouTube channel. All of this and more can be learned and taught through Skillshare. A big thing I've learned in life is to never give up on yourself and to always try and find enjoyment in new things. This might be a little stereotypical because I am Scottish, but one of my most recent interests is learning how to properly make cocktails. I just love a Long Island iced tea man and there's so many places that don't offer them so screw it I'm gonna do it myself. Luckily for me I've got Ivy Mix right here on Skillshare showing me the ins and outs of making your signature drink. It's so much better hearing someone's perspective rather than just following a recipe card so Ivy cheers to you. This is gonna make my nights out so much more enjoyable and you know while I'm sipping on my homemade cocktail you could also be learning a new skill or hobby through Skillshare for free because the first thousand people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial. There's even some classes on here that can help you become a better Yu-Gi-Oh player. Unfortunately, there isn't any learn how to read classes, but you can learn how to read faster and therefore not play it at a time. So give it a go. It is, of course, free for 30 days. Use the link in the description. And thanks once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. Now let's once again risk it all. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Magnificent Mavens is the new product to come out, and judging by the Konami opening, ratios are looking hella nice. It's also the first product in a long time that offers sleeves, which might mess with the value of the set a little bit. There are also some huge differences between European and American prints, interestingly enough, so uh, do keep in mind these are UK prices. Pharaoh Rares aside, coming in at the top slot, we have Kelbeck at £23.79, followed up by Agido the Ancient Sentinel at £15.95, and then in third place we have Triple Tactics Talent at £12.95. Nothing too too crazy if you ignore the Pharaoh's rares, but a good number of decent cards coming in after that. So Magnificent Mavens, are we gonna profit or are we gonna forfeit? Let's find out. Here we go! <coughs> Honestly don't know if I should be panicking or not for this one, but um, yeah, two boxes of Magnificent Mavens. So typically we have a budget of £30 to spend, however these don't kind of fit into that budget. Uh, so these were £17 each, £34 in total is how much we need to beat for a profit. Also, by the way, I don't know if you can tell from the sound of my voice, I am slightly ill. So uh, yeah, we're trying to push this out and then we'll take a little bit of a break, get some rest and hopefully swing back in with some playing Yu-Gi-Oh properly and whatnot. But yeah, of course, we have all of the different sleeves in here. At the time of recording, I don't know the values specifically on anything. Uh, last I saw was like the Pharaoh's Rares, Blue Eyes, and Dark Magician and Girl trying to get pawned off like £400 on the Facebook trade group. Probably not the actual price for those cards. Uh, so yeah, I don't know for sure how this is gonna go. I know um, as long as we pull a whole bunch of good cards, including all of the Ishizu stuff, then we should be golden. I think Kel deck 
is maybe the most expensive card in the set. Obviously, you'll already know because we just talked about it earlier, but uh, I'm filming this before that part, so, you know, this is all new to me right now. As long as we pull a bunch of good cards, we'll be golden. Anyway, sleeves. Uh, witchcrafters, right? Okay, I assume the Sky Striker sleeves are the most expensive ones. Maybe they're all sort of like two, three pound each. Uh, what, well, are we gonna get Sky Striker ones in here? No, we're not witchcrafters. Okay, probably not a good start. <laughs> I guess these are also going towards the collection, right? So if you win, you get sleeves as well. Although they, they do kind of bend and warp, so, you know, just be aware of that, I guess. 140 sleeves in the collection, let's go. And eight packs to open today. Possibly going to be a very, very short video. Uh, that's the thing with these openings. It's like, if I open them slowly, uh, and then it is a forfeit, then it's going to be a super long video. But if I open them quickly, and it's a profit, it's like, all right, we got a five-minute video. What are we, <laughs> we going to do with that? Uh, so yeah, eight packs of Magnificent Mavens. Evenly matched, Lightning Storm, you know, all that good stuff. Harpy's Feather Duster. Let's get into it. Pharaoh's Rares. I don't know how rare they are. As far as I know, I believe they are one per case. Um, so there is a chance, I guess. I don't know how many boxes are in a case, man. I've really not been keeping up with all this stuff. <laughs> but uh, getting into it, right off the bat, we have Medora, the Sword Oracle. A very, very good start. Ishizu card, uh, assuming that's maybe like between five and ten pounds. Great start. Okay, anything else? Because like these don't really have any kind of like pack pattern like where the good cards are and whatnot, but uh, yeah, let's see. So Medora, very nice. We have Blast Held by Destiny. Uh, Mayakashi, obviously just bulk. Gigari, Ultra Rare, and Nightmare Cerberus. Okay, Medora, I think is the only card there that's actually worth anything. Yeah, okay. Good first pack, at least. If we get like that in every pack, we should be golden, okay? Very nice. I have seen posts on Facebook of people getting like near enough a full Ishizu core in like a few boxes. Very, very lucky, obviously. Hopefully, we can do something spicy like that. All right, pack number two. We have totally awesome. Okay, very nice. Don't know if this is bulk or if this is actually worth anything right now. We have Dragon Necro, Nether Soul Dragon. Very cool. Witchcrafter Creation, Secret Village of the Spellcasters, and. Onibamaru Soul Sweeper. Bit more of a dud, that pack, unfortunately. Unless Totally Awesome is actually worth anything, but kind of doubt it, to be honest, at this rate. Uh, Alright, six packs remain. Are we going to get anything juicy? Can we get a Pharaoh's Rare, please? We need to keep this streak going, man. We need to keep it going. We have a Chi Xiao. Uh, Ultra Rare. Yeah, not Pharaoh's Rare. I haven't seen a Pharaoh's Rare in person yet, so that's something to look out for. We have Sword Soul Emergence. Yo, Sword Soul Pack, I'll slightly miscut as well at the top there. We have Nightmare Phoenix to go with our Cerberus. Sword Soul Black, this really is just a Sword Soul Pack, bro. And Witchcrafter Jenny, all ultra rare. Yeah, I can't remember what all the Pharaoh's Rares actually are, to be honest. Let's round off our first box of Magnificent Mavens. What is it going to be? Can we get another Ishizu card, please? We have Witchcrafter Confusion Confession. We got all the gals there in the artwork. Very, very cool. We also have Ailoron, Sky Striker Boy. We have Sword Soul Blackout, Sky Striker Ace Shizuku, and Sword Soul Strategist Long Yin. I think that's just a bulk pack, honestly, most likely. Uh, yeah, so our first box, not the greatest, if I'm honest. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous now, dude. There's so much on the line. Let's go. Next box. Can we get any sauce? 34 pound as well that we have to go past instead of 30 is also like a little bit. Ooh, okay, okay. That's what we like to see. Agido, the Ancient Sentinel, a second Ishizu card. So let's assume this is like eight, let's say that's 10, maybe like 18, 20, including the sleeves. Okay, okay, I'm feeling a little bit better now. That's nice to see, that's nice to see. Why, God, it was the first card in the first pack of the first box and the second box. We also have here, Gravekeeper's Trap, Pharaoh's Rare? Nope, okay. We have Dark Calling, ooh, Sword Soul of Taya, and Sky Striker Mecha Shark Cannon. Still no Pharaoh's Rare, unfortunately, but second to Shizu card, don't mind if I do. That's what we like to see, keep it up, please. Let's hope this box is a banger. I have seen some very, very nice boxes. What else do we have? Second pack of box number two. We have number 93 Utopia Kaiser. Okay. 
ultra rare just like the prize card, like the higher rarity prize card version, which is funny. We also have Ghost Meets Girl, okay. Maya Kashi, very cool. Shirinoi, we got Cat Shark Ultra Rare, just bulk honestly. G Golem Token and Dragon Maid Changeover. That's a bulk pack. That's definitely a bulk pack. How unfortunate. It is good that all of these cards are hollows because that means the bulk is going to be like a little bit higher than if they were commons. So that's also something to be aware of. We do want to pull, I don't know if a Guido is like one of the more expensive issues of cards. I think, I think it's literally just Keldak or whatever it's called. Sword Soul of Moye! Okay, not a bad pool. Good start. Moye, very nice. We have Pendulum Call, Doom Dozer, Riliona the Magistus of Ver, and we have Draco back, the Rideable Dragon. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get a Pharaoh's here, unfortunately. Moye, very, very nice. And the final pack of Magnificent Mavens, please. I think, I honestly think it all comes down to this. Please make it a good one. Let's just put the front one to the back, because that seems to be where the Ashizu stuff is. We have Ileron. Okay, bad start, bad start. Widow Anchor. Quite a good pool. Come on, evenly matched. Okay, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. We have Therion Dukiol, and please, please, and Ashizu card, man, please, we have Yuki Ona, the Icicle Mayakashi. Okay, so depending on how expensive Mudora and Agito are, uh, I don't know if this is a profit or forfeit, to be honest. Honestly, I think it's more leaning towards the forfeit side, but we'll see. We'll see. Price on screen is... Woo! <laughs> And he's done it again, baby! Holy man, $45 dues on the dot! So many cards I didn't realize had a bit of value, and so even without the sleeves, we're still on a profit. That's crazy, man. So, a couple of top tier zero meta cards being thrown into the collection as well now. We're up over £300 at this point. What a fucking monster streak! This literally is the opposite of how buying sealed product typically goes. The question now is, will the run be swiftly put to an end by Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. No, because I'll crush anyone in a Shadow Duel, but there's still only one way to find out. Remember to drop your likes and comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.